Hello, welcome to Electronics Education. I'm Vincent Chan. Today we are going to continue our series around the small signal model of the semiconductor devices, but focus on the bipolar small signal model. And then let's start with the sequence of this this bipolar small signal model is gonna the same as the one you learn from the mass counterpart. Some BB, BJT small signal model, basically it's gonna go from the low frequency, first order, and then low frequency, the second order, high order. And then we're gonna go from low frequency, move into the high frequency, the high frequency small signal model. And hopefully we can find out some of the internal capacitances of the bipolar junction transistor, which uh, a, a lot of students, engineers, struggle in this area. BJT small signal model, part one, base resistance and uh, emitter resistance. So let's just focus on these two resistances. So before we explain these two res resistances, let me just ask you one question. What's the resistance between these two terminals, the emitter and the base. This is the BJT, right? The bi emitter base collector. So what's the resistance between the emitter and the base? This is the third time. What's the resistance between base and the emitter? What's, what would you answer this? The answer should be, sir, I don't know. <laughs> Why? Because it depends on which, term which terminal you are looking into. If you are looking into base, then it's called RPI, which is, let's call RPI as the base resistance. But a complete description for RPI should be like this. The resistance between base and the emitter, yet looking into base. The numerator, pay attention to, the, to this. The numerator is the VBE, right? So VBE divided by IB equals RPI. This is math. But let's turn the mathematical expression of this, this equation into the definition of RPI. So the resistance between base and the emitter corresponds to the numerator, which is now VB. Yet looking into base that reflect the current you are referring to right now is the base current. You get it? The resistance between base and the emitter look into base. And then this is the emitter resistance, RE. If the resistance between base and the emitter look into emitter, then it's called RE. So the definition of RE should be VBE divided by IE. VBE divided by IE. It's too mathematical. I'm not trying to, to teach you to despise math. But you got to say this. So what is the RE? Let's turn the mathematical de definition into the electronic definition. So more electronic. So what is the RE? the resistance between emitter and the base by looking into emitter. The resistance between VB divided by IE, the resistance between base and the emitter, numerator. Yet looking into the emitter, denominator, IE. You might be wondering, you might be feel not very comfortable because the IE going, going point to your eye, right? I mean, if you stand at the emitter and look 
into the emitter, then it's coming. The emitter current now is coming. So, sir, what about, can I change the direction? Yes, you can. So you can also define the RE as the VEB, but make sure divided by negative IE. This will also give you the same positive value for the emitter resistance. Okay? So again, what's the meaning of the negativity? I want to pause for a moment, okay? And talk to you and ask you, what's the meaning of that negative sign? You want to see again? What's the meaning of this negative sign? It means this direction, the red current, this direction, flowing into the emitter, flowing out of, flowing out of the transistor, this direction, is out of phase with the VEB, all right? And this direction is in phase with VB. It's out of phase with VEB and in phase with VBE. So now, pay attention to the difference. So the first part is the same, the resistance between base and the emitter. This foundation is super, is extremely important when it comes to the transistor small signal analysis. Okay, so I want to slow down. Make sure you fully capture this. So the difference lies on the denominator. So denominator, the difference is, is what? One plus beta times, right? Right, so who is supposed to be smaller? Concept. So which current is bigger? So it's the same numerator, different denominator. So it's a huge difference. One plus beta times. So the emitter current is large, large. So larger emitter current gives you lower emitter resistance. So lower base current will reflect a much higher base resistance. One plus beta, right? How many times? One plus beta. So pi equals E times one plus beta. If you have trouble understanding this by inspection, then you just do the mathematical derivation by doing this. Okay, so we just plug this. IB equals IE divided by one plus beta into the definition of our pi. Then you will see this. Base resistance, okay? So let's maybe move a little bit faster. I think the beginning is very, very important. And then we just follow uh, this kind of, uh, just give you some of the formulation for the R pi and the RE and this lecture is over. So GIC equals GMVB, right? IC equals GMVB. And then IC divided by IB focus on the cent central as beta. So beta over GM. So beta over GM, but who decides GM? Transconductance. Who decides the GM? The bias, the bias current. So higher bias current, IC, higher transconductance and lower Alpi. Alpi is the AC parameter. AC parameter of the device will depends on the DC bias. DC bias. Emitter resistance definition, and then this IC equals alpha IE common base current relationship, and then alpha VBE 
you can VBE, right? So VBIC divided by GM is VBE. So the inverse of if you just take alpha, approximate the alpha equals one unity, then you can say this. The inverse of the transconductance is approximately equal to what? The emitter resistance. There's a second formula, alternative formula for the emitter resistance, which is this. IC divided by VT, transconductance. So IC alpha, IEQ, okay? So if the emitter bias current is one milliamp, 25 ohm, that's 25 millivolt. Am I going too fast? So you can just take note, pause, and plug in 25 millivolt, millivolt for the VT, thermal voltage, and one milliamp for the denominator, assuming bias current one milliamp, 25 ohm. 5 million, 5 ohm. So RE, two formulas will be used very frequently, frequently in the future, especially when you do the small signal analysis of the amplifier. These two formulas are mandatory for you to remember. Right? One, the first one, alpha divided by GM, one over GM. And then the 25 millivolt divided by the emitter bias current. So make sure you are very familiar with this. For the up high, this is RE. Again, the resistance between base and the emitter looking into emitter, okay? Emitter resistance. On your right, the resistance on the top, the resistance between base and the emitter yeah, look into base. It's up high. And the both, the up high, the larger up high, because it's a smaller base current, equals one plus beta times the smaller resistance RE. Why one plus beta? Because the denominator, one plus beta. Up high equals beta divided by the transconductance. So higher bias current, lower base resistance. This is the major takeaway, just one slide of this lecture. So in the next lecture, I'm going to teach you about the BJT's hybrid pi model and the T equivalent circuit model. So look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for watching.